Is there one core thing that you really want people to be touched by? Fundamentally, if people understand that the source of human experience is within you, joy or misery, agony or ecstasy, pleasure or pain, everything comes from within you. If you understand this much, if I understand, suppose right now I think I'm miserable because of you, mm. there's no solution for my life, isn't it? Because all you have to do is walk in front of my home, I will become miserable. <laughs> so simple it is, you don't have to kill me, mm. you just have to walk around in front of me, I will die within myself every day. If I understand the source of my joy and misery are within me, then you know what's the obvious choice? Joy. It's an obvious choice, isn't it? Mm. So this one fundamental thing has to get across to all the human beings on this planet. Your experience is entirely determined by you. This is what the word karma means, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. It's become something else here. Karma means action. That means when we say your life is your karma, we are saying your life is entirely your making, hundred mm -hmm. percent. What happens in the world? There are many, many forces involved. What happens within me? It's one hundred percent me. Hundred percent, isn't it? Yes. If you don't take charge of this, then you're an accidental life. When you're an accidental life, anxiety is very natural. Natural, isn't it? Mm. Suppose you're driving accidentally, that is, you don't know what's happening and you're simply somehow going, Anxiety is natural or no? Yes. Any accidental moment creates anxiety. So this is why consciousness means this, that you have taken charge of the instruments of life, which on most fundamental level is our physiological and psychological space. You have taken charge of this. Mm. Now your health, your happiness, your joy, your ecstasy, your misery, everything is in your hands. You exercise them as you want. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to what you said about focus, in your book you talk about something I thought was so interesting, to set the faucet to a certain drip rate and do nothing but focus on the dripping of the faucet for like seven minutes or something. The, the idea is to pay attention to something which has no relevance to you. See, people are, have divided the universe. This is important, this is not important. This person is important for me, this person is not important for me. This is important for me, that's not important for me. You divided the universe, mm -hmm. you will never know anything this way. Indiscriminate focus, indiscriminate attention. I am not attending to you because you are somebody with a cobra in your heart, all right? It doesn't matter who I speak to, who I am with, I am the same way, indiscriminate. Only when your attention and involvement is indiscriminate does the universe open up to you. Mm. You have discriminated, naturally you close. You know, people come to me and say, Sadhguru, I want to walk the spiritual path. I say, okay, be here for three days, let's see what we can do. So, no Sadhguru, day after tomorrow, my uncle's daughter's birthday, I have to go. Oh, you want to get enlightened? and day after tomorrow, uncle's daughter's birthday also. All right, we got one and a half days. You do one thing, you do this, this and this. I say, Sadhguru, but I don't like this. All right, I'll give them a small piece of paper and say, okay, write down things that you like, we'll do only do, do that. You be, won't believe it, in this entire universe, most people like only three or four things. Wow. When <laughs> You are so constipated in your head that you lack only three or four people or three or four things in your life. How do you want to open up to the existence? Mm -hmm. Because life is happening because of its openness. This is a fundamental difference between death and life is, people are thinking it's just breath, all right, on one level. That is also openness, whether you allow this to happen or you don't allow it to happen whether you did it consciously or unconsciously, but it's happening, isn't it? Openness is on every subatomic particle, is in communication with everything. That's why this is going on. Breath is happening, so much is happening in connection with everything. It is only in openness you're alive. As you close doors, you're dying in installments. 
Dying in installments is torture. See, life is fantastic if you're alive and fully alive. If you're dead, it's good, at least the neighbors may think so. <laughs> this may sound very not so compassionate, but I'm saying everybody dies, you and me will die, all right? If you're dead, it's the game is over. But if you're half dead, oh, this is endless torture to yourself. When you are being tortured, of course you'll share it with everybody else.